My name is uh, Father Olivier Kaitare. I'm a Jesuit priest and I'm director of uh, St. Ignatius High School since the year 2016. So this school is a Jesuit high school and it started in the year 2012. We started of course uh, some years before uh, we started with the primary school, St. Ignatius Primary School, which started in the year 2008. Then the school grew slowly and it emerged in this high school in the year 2012. So, uh, this school, as I told you, it's a Jesuit high school and its aim is to form Rwandan uh, children in the formation of Jesuit in the Ignatian pedagogy. Uh, and concerning the Ignatian pedagogy, there are some important values that we want to inculcate in our students. First of all, one of the values that we aim at is excellence, what we call magis in the language uh, of uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola. And when we talk about excellence, excellence is not just about academic excellence. Usually people think of excellence in terms of academics. But for us, of course, there is academic excellence, doing well in your studies, getting good marks. But also there is human excellence. We do not want just to form people uh, to be intelligent in terms of books and reading, studying. We want them also to be good people who are compassionate, who care for others in this society. We want to form people who will become men and women for others. People will become agents of transformation in the society. So that is one of the important values uh, that we aim at in this school. And of course, this is a Christian school. And we are, of course, uh, basing ourselves on the values of the gospel, the values of Jesus Christ. So we are also forming our students, not in an atheistic way, we want to form them in a Christian way. So we are influenced by Christian values uh, at our school. And currently we have 312 students in this year, uh, 2017. And the school is growing slowly, slowly. We have the ordinary level combination from senior one up to senior three. And so far we have uh, three options in advanced level. We have MCB, Mathematics, Chemistry, Biology. MCE, Mathematics, Computer Science, Economics. And MPC, Mathematics, Physics, and Computer Science. And uh, in order to have also a good school, there are also some important things that I can talk about this school. You cannot form uh, students if you have very poor infrastructures. So that's why we aim at having also very developed infrastructure. If you look at the building of this school, they are really strong. And even our laboratories, they are really among the best, well equipped. We have the digital library. We have the computer room, which is used by students. And we are trying our best to equip our school with various tools, which will help 
our students to learn more and more. So, apart from that, we also have other important activities that you don't find in a other schools. We have, for, for instance, uh, what we call consultation days, whereby uh, parents come here at the school, they come and meet each teacher who teaches their child to talk about the growth of the student. So they meet each teacher individually because in our Jesuit education, we don't form people as a group in a whole. We form people, each person as an individual. So we have what we call Kura Personalis. They care for each individual person. So each person matters and he has his own needs, his struggles, his way of growing. That's why we need uh, to form him, to follow him uh, in a special way. So apart from those consultation days, we have also what we call parents learning day. So our parents also, they need to learn. That's why uh, once in a term we call upon some specialist to come and give a talk to our parents about various topics uh, regarding the growth of their children or any other important issue which they may need to know. We form also our students in a spiritual way. Every month we have spiritual activities. We have the Holy Eucharist, daily Mass, and we also um, have other prayers. And we'll be organizing given some retreats and recollections in order to inculcate spiritual values in our students. We also have another day which is important that we call uh, the school day or the feast where we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola that we celebrate every year on 31st July. So on that day we also invite parents and students and the students who have not yet received the sacraments, they get them on that day. We also help our students in terms of culture to develop them and we have even a special day that we call Culture Day every year in the third term whereby we call upon students and the teachers and the parents to come at the school. Then we have various activities. We have, uh, for instance, uh, we start with jogging. Then after the jogging we have uh, some part of creativity. Students, they make various things and they display them. Then we have also the cultural part, whereby our students, they show their talents in terms of traditional dance or in terms of other things that they have learned at the school, in debate, in first aid skills, or even in any other field uh, that they learn here at our school. So in the brief, what I can say about this uh, school, St. Ignatius High School, we are a school which is forming students in a holistic way. We don't form only the mind, but we also form the heart. We want to form the person in an integral way, as the whole person. We form him academically, spiritually, we give him discipline so that we may have really uh, a person who is an agent of change in our society. So I thank you very much and you are most welcome next time. We are also looking forward to receive more students so that we can help them to develop and to grow in a holistic way using the way of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Thank you very much. The discipline uh, in our school uh, is very excellent. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, the 
discipline is the key to any success. Uh, but here at our school, we work closely with parents. Uh, parents are involved in the discipline of their students. Uh, we have a discipline committee uh, that work closely with the teachers. Uh, in a case there is an indiscipline case, the committee sit together and discuss the uh, issue so that they come up with uh, a better way to help a student. Uh, in general, we have different students from different schools, but we always, as educators, uh, stay near them, advising them on what to do, uh, so that they will become uh, uh, important people for the country, but also for the whole world. Uh, I can say that our students are disciplined because uh, we always approach them, uh, letting them know about how much important to be disciplined. Uh, with their discipline, they perform very well academically. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, men in discipline cases. Uh, we also have the school educations. Every student um, has this in what we call the communication booklet that helps us to communicate with the parent. They also have this in their booklet that we call Code of Conduct. Before starting the year, we let them know about this. We explain to them what we expect from them as far as discipline is concerned. And from this, they manage to excel in their academics. Thank you very much. When I met you in the summer To my heart beat sound We fell in love As the leaves turned brown And we could be together baby As long as skies are blue You act so innocent
innocent now But you lied so soon When I met you in the summer Habits in that break of day Trip on fast, love us back, come get with me Looking down, hard to find an easy way Easy way I gotta walk my demons, need a fresh eye Keep them in at least, them are strong and wise Far to where I'm heading, guess I need a ride Need a ride So spoon me, spoon me tonight, yeah Spoon me, baby, you can spoon tonight 